Are you curious about how much electricity your household appliances consume? For instance, lighting, fan, aircon, hair dryer, laptop, and many others. But do you know which appliances are silently draining your energy and contribute to your higher electricity bill? Today, let us look into our household appliances and uncover their energy consumption. In this video, we will discuss two critical concepts, power and energy, and how they are interrelated. Then, we will also demonstrate the power rating of electrical appliances commonly used in our home. This will be particularly advantageous for those interested in energy saving and reducing their electricity costs when selecting the electrical appliances for their house. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss any update. Let us begin by defining power and energy. Power is the rate of energy being used, and is measured in watt. When we talk about rate, it means that the time is fixed at one second. One watt is equal to one joule per second, and a device that uses one kilowatt, can consume 1,000 joules of energy every second. Energy, on the other hand, is the amount of electrical power used over a period of time, and is measured in kilowatt hours. Here, the time is variable, and energy consumption depends on how long we use the device. For example, if a 1 kilowatt device runs for an hour, it consumes a total of 1 kilowatt hour of energy. Let's use an analogy of people typing on keyboard, to understand this concept better. Imagine Peter and Amy, both typing at different speeds. Peter can type six characters, while Amy managed to type only three characters in one second. Therefore, Peter is considered more powerful than Amy. However, the duration of their typing sessions plays a crucial role. Peter types for just two minutes, resulting in a total character count of 720. On the other hand, even though Amy is less powerful with her slower typing speed, she continues to type for 10 minutes, resulting in a longer paragraph, with a total of 1,800 characters. From this analogy, we can observe that the assessment of power depends on the number of characters typed per second. However, the outcomes vary with the duration of typing session. This concept aligns with the definition of power in electrical devices, where power is measured as the energy used per second, and total energy consumption is calculated over a given period of time. For example, in our home, a 50 watt fan, operating for 8 hours a day, for a month, can consume about 12 kilowatt hours of energy. Utilities also charge us based on kilowatt hours, so the more energy we use, the higher our electricity bills. To find the power rating of an appliance, simply check the label, which typically shows the rating in watts or kilowatts. The power rating indicates how much power the appliance consumes when operating at full capacity. Sometimes, the power rating may be in horsepower, which is equivalent to 746 watts. Now, let us take a closer look at the power ratings of household appliances that are typically found in most homes. We have divided them into five categories, lighting, electronics, cooling, heating, and cleaning. For better clarity and visual representation, each appliance has been color-coded, from green indicating low power consumption, to red indicating extremely high power consumption. Let's begin by discussing lighting devices, which include fluorescent light, LED down light, and strip light. LED light is known for their energy efficiency and consume less power than fluorescent light to produce the same level of brightness. As a result, the overall trend is shifting towards LED lighting due to its superior energy efficiency and longer lifespan compared to fluorescent type. Considering the current trend of using strip light for decorating house ceilings, strip light can create a visually stunning effect, however, it's important to be aware of their power consumption especially when using longer strip to cover larger areas such as an entire living room. Moving on to electronics appliances, televisions, phone chargers, and laptops, as well as router or modems, generally consume less power. However, nowadays, it is important to note that desktops can consume more power, ranging from 235 to 750 watts, particularly those used for gaming or running extensive software. 
Regarding appliances with cooling mechanisms, air conditioners of 1 to 3 horsepower have a power rating of 800 to 2300 watts. Compared to air conditioning, ceiling fan and standing fan use significantly less power. Besides, refrigerators consume relatively high power because they must maintain a consistently low temperature to preserve food. Next, let's discuss appliances used for heating purposes. Kitchen electrical appliances, including rice cooker, microwave, electric oven, toaster, and coffee maker are also known for their high power consumption to heat up food. Appliances like instant kettle, instant water heater, induction cooker, clothes dryer, hair dryer, and clothes iron fall into the category of extremely high power consumption. These devices demand a significant amount of power to provide instant heating to high temperatures. Hence, it is crucial for us to be mindful of their usage time. For instance, we can shorten our bathing time, minimize the duration of using the hair dryer, or streamline our clothes ironing process. Additionally, it is essential to remember to switch off these appliances when they are not in use. Now, let's shift our focus to cleaning appliances, including washing machine, dishwasher, vacuum cleaner, and water jet pump. These appliances are equipped with motors that consume a substantial amount of power to overcome friction and resistance while operating the fan or pump. Just like high-power heating devices, it is advisable to minimize their usage time and frequency to avoid unnecessary electricity wastage. One might be curious if air purifiers consume a significant amount of power, but in general, they have relatively low power rating. Lastly, one often overlooks water filters equipped with heating and cooling technology that can contribute to high energy consumption and electricity bills. These water filters usually use higher power, ranging from 500 to 1000 watts, to keep the hot and cold water ready 24-7. Earlier in this video, we mentioned the electricity bills are based on energy consumption, measured in kilowatt hours. If we want to save energy, we need to consider not only the power rating of our appliances, but also the duration of their use. Using a low-power device, for a long time, can consume more energy than using a high-power device, for a shorter time. For example, a television left on for 12 hours, consumes more energy, than a water heater, used for just 10 minutes. Therefore, when using high-power appliances, it's important to limit their usage time to reduce energy consumption, and cut down on our electricity bills. On the other hand, when using low-power appliances, we should also take care of their usage time to prevent energy wastage. We should turn them off when they are not necessary. Small actions like turning off lights, fans, and unplugging electronics when not in use, can add up and significantly impact our energy consumption. Thank you for watching this video and learning more about power, energy, and how they impact our daily lives. By understanding these concepts, you can make informed choices that not only save you money, but also help reduce your carbon footprint. So, go ahead to check the power ratings of your home electrical appliances and turn off those which are unnecessary. Please like, subscribe and turn on the notification of our channel. We will constantly update more topic covering electrical knowledge in future.